Hey Cornerstone family, it's June the 2nd, and I have great news for you. God is still in control. Well, I'm wearing my new Cornerstone Student Ministries t-shirt today. Our Cornerstone Student Ministries announced Sunday night that they're changing their name from M2 to CSM, Cornerstone Student Ministries. We've been working over the last year or so here at Cornerstone to become a branded house instead of a house of various brands. And so Kingdom Kids became Cornerstone Kids, and now M2 has become Cornerstone Student Ministries. And so we're excited about that. If your junior high and high school kids are not going to Cornerstone Student Ministries, I challenge you, encourage you, get them there. They've made some incredible changes to their room downstairs, and you do not want your teens to miss Cornerstone Student Ministries. I just challenge and encourage you to do that. Well, our devotional thought today comes from Amos 5.24. It's a very familiar verse of scripture. You've heard it. You've maybe seen it on a poster. You've heard it in a Martin Luther King Jr. quote. It says this, but let justice roll on like a river, righteousness like a never failing stream. So we've heard that, we've seen it, uh, maybe we've quoted it, but what does it mean? What does it mean, let justice roll on like a river, righteousness like a never-failing stream? I think what it means is this, God loves it when you go to church. God loves it when you worship Him. But what God wants more than that sacrifice of worship is He wants us to love the things that He loves, justice and righteousness. And so we should fight against injustice in our world. We should, we should do the right thing in our world in addition to going ch- to church, in addition to worshiping God, in addition to all of those things. We should fight for and believe in justice. We should do the right thing. That's what it means, let justice roll on like a river and righteousness like a never-failing stream. And God doesn't want us to do it one day and not the next. He says, Amos says, a never-failing stream. Not one that dries out, not one that has water in it in the spring and not in the summer, but rather all the time the church, Christians, should be fighting for justice and doing the right thing. What's that mean for you? Well, I can't really say. But what you need to do is pray, God, what should I do in my life today that shows that I love justice, that I believe in justice, that I'm fighting for justice? What should I do? The next right thing. What's the next right thing that I should do? I'm just going to go out on a limb and guess it might not be a post on Facebook. It might be a phone call to somebody. It might be a visit to a neighbor. It might be standing up for someone who doesn't have a voice, being a voice for someone who doesn't have a voice. But I know this, God loves justice. And the irony of it is, Jesus suffered the greatest injustice of all at the cross. He was crucified. He had no sin, and yet he died for our sins. That's a great injustice that was done to him. But he did it so that we could have life in him and so that we could fight for justice for those that don't have a voice. And so I want to pray for you today toward that end. I want to challenge you with that today. What is it in your life that you need to be doing to fight for justice and to do the right thing, to to, to fight for righteousness in your life, in your home, in your neighborhood, in our community, in our church? Let me pray for you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you that you suffered the greatest injustice of all on the cross at Calvary. You did it not because you were guilty, but Lord, you did it because we were guilty. It was an incredible injustice for you, what happened on the cross. And because you gave us new life at the cross, we can now fight for justice for those who have no voice. We can now do the right thing. And so I I just pray, Jesus, that you would speak to our hearts, those that are listening, those that are asking, Jesus, would you show us what's the next right thing you want us to do? How can we fight for justice in our community, in our neighborhoods? Lord, show us what you want from us. Lord, help us to be good listeners and help us to respond when we hear the plight of those who need our help. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you this Sunday.